Hello, hello, hello to all of my wonderful Aries. This is Queen of Rock coming to you with a very special reading on today. I hope you all are having a fantastic day, Aries. But then again, I know you are because it's so many things happening, Aries. I hope y'all are excited as I am. Listen, we have a new moon coming. Yes, indeed. Hey, listen, Aries, this is a time that little, that, that part of you. Now, remember these phases, they happen every single month, right? So, you know, if, if you're not ready, that's okay. But this is the time, Aries, really, this is the time to do the cleansing, that cleansing fire as fire signs. This is burning of your old self, like anything that's left that you, that you just like, Ooh, I wish that I wish I could, I could, hand, you know, I'm going to get into it in just a second. But yes, first things first, Aries, this is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with a very special reading. I know y'all know that by now, but listen, I want y'all to say this and I want you to say it loud and proud. And I'm going to keep on telling you until it becomes so much a part of everything, every fiber of your being, Aries, that you won't let people tell you or try to contaminate you with their poisons about who they think you are and then projecting themselves onto you. So let's get into it. I am an Aries. I am a strong leader. I have amazing self-confidence. I have positive energy. I am brave. I am creative. I am optimistic. I am honest. I am passionate. I am confident. I am determined. I am courageous. I am a God. I want you to say that. I want you to say it. I am a God. You're not trying to be someone else's God. You are not letting them be your God. Your job is not your God. Other people are not your God. You know what I'm saying, Aries? Come on now. Yes, we have a new moon coming. We have a new moon coming, right? We're also going to be talking about the number 66, right? Your ruling planet is Mars. Mars governs your energy, your libido, your will, your sexual drive, your sexual desires, your romantic attraction, your creative drive, all of that, right? Even if there's a spark of you, Aries, that still allows people to push your buttons, I want you to burn that part. I want you to burn that part. We have one more day before this new moon comes. It's a whole brand new you. This is a powerful time to burn your old selves in the cleansing fire. That's right. Yeah, old beliefs, old expectations, and this is a time to make a fresh new start for yourself. Let's get into it. Most High God in the universe, please give me a special greeting for my wonderful Aries as it relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions and spirituality and where they need to take action. What information do we have for my wonderful Aries? Yes, indeed, Aries. You all know that this is a general reading. These cards are the Light Sears Tarot deck by Chris Ann. These cards right here are the Sacred Self-Care Oracle deck by Jill Pyle. If you're interested in a personal reading, information down below. Y'all know how to get in contact with me by now. Yes, indeed. Information right out there. Boom. <laughs> Let's do it. Woo. Let's get into it, Aries. Let's get into it. Look, and congratulations to a lot of y'all. Y'all be sending me text messages like, guess what, queen? This happened. That happened. This. I'm so proud of y'all. Y'all don't even understand. Listen, if I could connect all y'all together in the room, and I'm talking about all the people that I've had personal readings with, you always see how similar your stories are and how these moon phases, because you know the moon governs your moon emo your moods, your emotions, and all of that, right? And how similar a lot of the stories are and how much you all really have in common. It doesn't matter if you're black, white, orange, green, purple, a Martian, a human. <laughs> y'all know what I'm saying. Listen, I'm telling you, if you knew, you wouldn't get as stressed out about your situation. You really wouldn't. You wouldn't get stressed out about your job, family members, exes, none of that stuff you would get. You wouldn't get frustrated about any of it. That's the part I want y'all to burn because you're not the only person that's going through what you think you're going through by yourself. You really are not, Aries. I'm trying to help y'all. Listen, I hope you hear me. It's a new moon coming. Tons of prospects. Look at this. Just right off the break. Tons of prospects. I see somebody sleeping better. <sighs> yes. Look at this. You've been investing in yourself and you're starting to see the fruits of your labor. That means some of y'all have been going back to school. Some of y'all have started your businesses. Some of you all have decided, you know what? It's time now to start thinking about buying a new house. It's time right now to start thinking about starting my business or doing what some of the things you always said you wanted to do. A lot of y'all are burning fear. 
That's what you all are burning. You're like, you know what? I'm tired of being scared. My age is not an obstacle. My race is not an obstacle. My nationality is not an obstacle. Because, I, you know, I talk to people from all over the world, right? Nothing is an obstacle. That fear was the only thing that was really, truly the obstacle. So now it's time to burn it and replace it with faith in yourself. So this is what you all have been doing and really investing in yourselves. And now you're starting to see the fruits of your labor. Go on with your bad self, Aries. I see you. Look, four of pentacles. I see some of y'all traveling. Start speaking things into existence. It's happening right now in the universe. I'm telling you, it's happening right now. Money. Here we go. I see y'all sleeping better right? I see you just getting a full how many ever hours of sleep that you want. I don't like saying eight hours, um, even though I guess that's supposed to be the standard, but some people need more than that. Like, But I see you getting, you know, and some people need less, but I see you having a full sleep, like just a good, peaceful rest where, you know, you wake up and you're like, whoo, I feel like I can jog 10 miles right now. <laughs> that kind of sleep, right? Because you're at a turning point. You're leaving behind all the little scraggly ends, all the, the naysayers, the liars, the backstabbers, the manipulators. You're leaving all that mess behind. And you're like, you know what? It's just me and my ancestors at this point. I've cut off some family members. I've cut off some friends. I've decluttered fear with inside of myself. I replaced that thing with faith. Now I'm at this point in my life. You feel like somebody feel like Hercules. <laughs> <laughs> superpowers just coming through that's what i'm talking about listen you loving yourself deeper and harder this is what i'm talking about aries this new moon got y'all like and i'm telling y'all don't forget to spring forward but yes you know wherever you are but um this is about you just saying you know what i'm sick and tired of being sick and tired of not living my best life for some people, they were like, at first you were thinking, okay, it's the people around me that I just need to start ignoring, especially if you work in an environment that's unhealthy. Let me start ignoring those fools because they just on another, they on another frequency. I'm going to, I'm not going to give any energy to that, right? Foolish behavior, Tom fooleries. Then you started to realize something else is bothering me. Something internal is bothering me. There's some things that I want to do with my life that I'm, I, I'm not a hundred percent certain of. Now you are certain. You're like, okay, I'm going to get out of my own way. Loving yourself deeper and harder. And guess what, actually, Aries? That actually makes you so much more attractive to so many people. And we're not talking about just sexually attractive. We're talking about attractive in every way, shape, form, or thought possible. More job opportunities coming your way. People just looking at you and they're like, something about you looks different. Like you just have this special glow, Aries. That's what it is. Some of y'all got new houses, new apartments, new jobs, thinking about starting your own business. I mean, y'all starting to wear yellow. Y'all starting, y'all like, okay, let me, let me, you know, pull out that bright yellow dress. Let me go put on some fiery orange or some red. Let me just get bold with it. That's what I'm talking about, Aries. Tons of prospects. Like I said, I see you all traveling. Just go ahead and start spinning the globe. Remove all fear and doubt. If you need to dust off your passport or go get it, you know, renewed or whatever you need to do, you know, get your hair cut or styled a certain way or whatever so you can take them cute passport pictures <laughs> i see y'all aries talking about queen what you want from egypt well um yes let me see what i want so yes i'll be expecting text messages from y'all talking about i'm getting ready to go traveling i'm about to get on a boat i'm about to get on the plane i got my passport in hand i'm about to go through the gates you know, TSA not tripping today. No, I'm just playing. Shout out to TSA. Hey, listen. But yes, um, listen, y'all are at a turning point in your lives. Seriously, you're at a turning point in your life. And it has to feel so good for so many of you all because you've been putting in the work. You've been putting in the work. Some of y'all TV shows about to explode. And I'm talking about really, really go viral, take off because of all the connections that you have. Yes. Let's talk about the number 66 for just a second. Let's talk about the number 66 for a second. Because 66 carries its own special vibration, right? When you see the number 66, it means double creative power. It means double the voice, right? Of being service to others. Mm-hmm. A creative voice. Very, very powerful than number 66 is. You're able to easily step into your responsibilities. 
It's a brand new you. Y'all dressing differently. Your hair is differently. You got a special glow to your skin. You, you got a, like a little extra pep in your step. I mean, you feeling good. You drinking your water. You even waking up in the morning doing jumping jacks next to your bed. I'm like, what is going on, <laughs> Aries? That's what I'm talking about, Aries. This is a whole, it's a new moon coming. It's a brand new you. You said fear. You just kick fear to the curb. You were like, get out of my way, fear. There's no way I'm fearful of this moving forward. At first, I couldn't see myself starting a business. All I could see myself was working for somebody else. Now y'all are sitting there like, you know what? There's a spark that's been, there's, a, there's something that's been planted. Hey, if they can start a business, so can I. If they can do it, so can I. And that's what's happening with you all. Yes. So yes, easily, we're talking about the number 66, easily stepping into your responsibility, right? Number 66 is also, 66 is also designed to nurture, right? Also 66 is able to help transform other people's emotional state through joy and gratitude. So I'm telling you, as fire signs, as very high vibrational positive signs, Aries, that you all are, you're very courageous, you're very bold. Shoot, you're the first sign in the freaking zodiac. Like y'all should be walking into a room setting the tone of every room you walk in. You're the first sign in the zodiac. Set the tone. Everywhere you go, that bright light is shining. People are drawn to your warmth. You give them warmth right back. But if they give you something that's different from what you've given them, the love and the, the respect and the appreciation that you've given to them, you stop them right then and there. Uh-uh. Hold on. What was that? Right. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. We're talking about the number 66, right? So number 66, as a natural intuitive, you need to surrender to the subconscious realms. This is where you listen to your intuition first, not second, third, fourth, fifth. You come in contact with some people, some energy, whatever your intuition tells you the first time. No, you are not paranoid. No, you're not, you know, no, no, you're not crazy, right? Yes, you are. You are receiving messages, divine messages from the universe. So receive them. Whatever the God in you is trying to tell you, listen, listen, listen. This is about you being victorious. So yes, there needs to be a bonfire burning service of all the old you. All the things that was an obstacle that you thought was an obstacle, but it's not really an obstacle, right? Yes, let's continue on with this thing. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, Aries. Yes. All right, let's see what else we have. Uh-huh, balancing out your daily affairs, receiving money, being in a posture of gratitude. Boom, 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 boom. Look at these cards. Let me tell you something. Look, your spirit has ascended. That's what's happening. You had that burning um, uh, ceremony, that purification, removing all that stuff from you, right, internal. You Now, you've already been, you've already seen all the energy around you that you either need to remove from your space. Some of those people have fallen out of range. <clears throat> they're not, they don't have the same impact on you anymore. You don't even have the same triggers. Like when, when they come around, you don't even feel the same way. You just like, whatever. Um, you've ascended. So that means some people have fallen out of range. It also means for some people, you know, they may be put in a different category because maybe they want to ascend too. Yes. Yeah. You're not scared to love people the way that you, that the, the type of love that you can give. And we're talking about a platonic love. We're talking about a love with no strings attached. This is, I genuinely love you and I want the best for you kind of love. Kind of like the love I have for y'all. Yes, Aries. And that's how you become victorious. That's how you become victorious in every area of your life. Yes. Mm-hmm. Y'all gonna make me break out and sing a song. And y'all know I can't sing. Look, here we go. Queen of Pentacles. This is you. Earth Mother Energy. Boom. More money, right? Being in a posture of gratitude. Just like, wow. Remember we were talking about, because we're still like 1% waning crescent moon, right? But it's still a little tiny 1% of decluttering that needs to be done, right? And that decluttering, again, because remember the moon um, governs our moods and our emotions, right? So still a little bit of decluttering, but you're, you're just grateful. You're like, wow, I have really come a long way. Yes, you have. Yeah, you went from scared and nervous. Y'all have a... Okay, never. I'm not going <laughs> to... Y'all know, y'all, y'all know I can tell the story, right? Y'all know. Okay, I'm gonna tell you real quick. Look, y'all would watch the Nature Channel after like a deer gives birth and the baby's trying to walk and the knees real, um, you know, like wobbly, trying to walk and looking around like, okay, what is this? What, what, uh, 
you know, what dimension am I in? <laughs> That's the little baby, what do you call baby deer? Whatever. Anyway, y'all know what to call them. Anyway, so that's how y'all were before scared and nervous and like okay i'm not sure i could do this this is when you're in another chapter of your life let's say you've been working for somebody for 20 30 years and then you want to start you know a new business and you're like you know like that little knobby knee baby deer you know that's scared and nervous and looking around unsure and whole nine yards even though your ancestors have always been there to protect you and guide you you know on your path now you feel strong enough because you've had that burning cer ceremony and removed all fear and doubt. Now you feel like, you know what, I really can do it. You look around and, and things can happen like you can see things on TV and you'll hear somebody's story that either looks like you in your same age range or whatever. Or you'll hear that, hey, they maybe they raised all their kids and helping to raise grandkids and stuff like that. But then they decide they want to go back to school. You know what I'm saying, Aries? Yes. And now, so now you're in a posture of gratitude. See, I told you I was I was not gonna make it a long story, but that and I also see y'all receiving money. So the majority of the cards that I'm looking at for you all for this particular spread areas are money cards. Hey, listen, money cards getting your power back, you're sleeping better, tons of prospects in your life, you'll be traveling, you know, new job opportunities. And I'm talking about job opportunities that you created for yourself. You got to start taking credit for the job opportunities that you create for yourself. I just see you being victorious in every single area of your life. On top of that, because of the fact that you're loving yourself deeper and harder, if you're interested in a relationship, and I'm talking about a romantic relationship, guess what? You're going to meet somebody, but at this higher vibration. You know why? Because, hey, that love frequency looks good on you, Aries. <laughs> I see you. Look, let's get this Oracle card and then we're going to wrap it up. Clean your space. That's right. Keep it, just keep it clean. Keep it clean. I know y'all are feeling good. Some of y'all have moved into your new place. Some of you all are getting great ideas for your shows. Some of you all are sitting down, writing, taking pen to, pe to paper, starting to write your book. You're feeling good about the progress. You look back, you were like, okay, I remember when I was on page number one. Now I'm on page 221. You know what I'm saying? Continue to clear your space. Continue to declutter from within and also outside of you. Continue to connect with people that's on a higher frequency and vibration again continue to clean your space that's what i have for you that is what i have for you aries i hope you all continue having a fantastic day but then again i know you will because that's the intention you said bye